Welcome back to my kitchen. So today we're gonna make some grits with some cheese in it and some creamy shrimp scampi to go on top. First we're gonna, we got some water going and we're gonna add a cup and a half of grits to the pot. If you know how to make grits, you know, just make your grits like you normally do. I use salt and pepper in my grits. I know some people like sugar. That's wrong, but that's your business. Anyways, we're going to get the grits going so we can also get the other main ingredient going. And that's the creamy shrimp scampi that's going to go on top of the grits. You gotta stir those grits really good so you don't have lumps and bumps and whatnot in them. All right, so we're using a little bit of wine. It's a rose because I'm out of white wine. Um, some, we got two bags of shrimp. I think there was three bags of shrimp because I have a, you know, I have a lot of people in my house. Anyways, um, we're gonna dry those off, pat those dry. Today we're using the Nini's uh, Eat Life Cajun seasoning on our shrimp. It is so full of flavor. So I don't use any other seasonings in this recipe other than a little garlic um, paste and some garlic powder. Her seasoning had plenty of flavor in it and not overly salty. All right, we're gonna sit those to the side. Let's move a little closer. Got the cast iron skillet. We're gonna put that on high. I'm gonna start out with half a stick of butter. Get that going. If you're new to my channel, welcome. I'm official Jamia and today we're cooking. <laughs> All right, we got our butter melting. Which seems to be going in slow motion. Now that my iron juice is finally hot, we're gonna put some bell peppers. These are frozen bell peppers from Walmart. We're gonna put some frozen onions. This is a quick and easy, lazy recipe. I inspired by a TikTok that I saw, but I did it an even lazier way than they did on their TikTok. I cook from the spirit, so I added probably about a half a cup of each um, the bell peppers and onions. We're gonna saute those around till the onions get translucent. Then we're gonna add some garlic paste in a second once this gets all cooked down. I got this particular garlic, um, garlic paste from Publix. I'm sure you can find it at any local grocery store. I'm gonna get that incorporated in really good. And now let's add in our shrimp that's coming up. There we go. And you wanna get those nice and pink they don't have to be all the way cooked yet because we're gonna add some heavy cream and wine so they'll simmer down in their sauce. 
So we just want to get them all pinked up. Washing my hands and dishes while I go. Let those cook down a little bit. I wish y'all could smell it. It smells so good. Thank you for watching the mug bang attached to this video. And if you haven't seen it, go back in a couple videos and you'll see me eating this delicious meal. Some of my shrimp was jumping out of the pan. <laughs> I'm going to add another half, about a quarter, um, about a tea, tablespoon of butter. We added a little more. We added the rest of the butter to the grits. A little bit more garlic. Like I said, it smells so good, and I, I'm a smell person, so I just add as I go. And keep in mind, we're trying to keep this low sodium. Shrimp is naturally salty on its own, so we don't need to add a lot of salt. Now we're gonna add some heavy cream. I'm using a Black Girl Magic Rosé um, wine in this recipe. This is a Black-owned company. The heavy cream is from Walmart. As you can see, it's great value. And we're just going to get this going. Let that come to a simmer. Let me get a little sniff, and I think I need some more wine. Let's get that in there. I'm a smell person. Stuff has a certain scent that I want when I'm cooking, and I can tell if I need to add something, and wine is what it was. <laughs> and I also added a little bit of garlic powder. Turn that down, let it simmer for a little bit while I get my grits ready. Let the butter melt in there, so we're gonna stir those up real good. Put a little heavy cream. I learned that from Coco TTV. Thank you for that tip. With some Kobe Jack, and we're gonna put some triple cheddar cheese in there as well. I love grits and I love a good cheese grit. So 
we're gonna get that stirred in real good. There you go, you can see it a little bit better. Add a little pepper. So nice and creamy and cheesy. I have that on low to keep it warm. Those are done. Now we got our shrimp all ready. Thank you so much for joining me for this cooking video. If you haven't seen the mukbang video, check it out. If you're new here, please consider subscribing and joining the family. Thank you. See you on the next video. Bye.